Hey, greetings, Tabrinos. How you doing? Well, I've been drinking. Yeah, this stuff. Jerk Face. Jerk Face 9000. What a name for a beer. <laughs> it's made in Quebec, apparently. It's a combination of uh, malted barley and wheat. Wheat beer, of all things. And oddly enough, it's got a little citrusy taste to it, almost like uh, grapefruit. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Yeah, I feel a little bit like ranting. And today, it's about politics and religion. Yeah, you realize they're the same thing, don't you? Or pretty much. That's why they tell you never discuss politics and religion. Because in the end, people don't want you ditzing their faith. They don't want you telling them the truth and breaking their delusions. That's why don't want to, they don't want to listen to rationality. And that's why the manifestations of these things look so fucking mad. A fine example right now, look at the fucking clusterfuck clown show that is the fucking United States election process. Holy fuck, I thought we were fucked up in Canada. What a fucking clown show. You tell me, is there anything rational going on there that you're, uh, <laughs> Fuck! You you got to be a little irrational to believe in the political process. That the, uh, your choice of A or B of rich, connected, fucking self-interested asshole gives a fuck about you. I mean, Donald Trump obviously does not give a fuck. And if you think Hillary Clinton does, you're just as deluded. You know. And I don't mean to make this specific to American politics. It's all the same. Whether it's up here, who we got? Fucking Justin fucking Trudeau light. You know, fucking Trudeau Jr., Trudeau late, as I like to call him. Fuck. <laughs> he, he makes, you know, fucking very attractive promises to get himself elected. And it, it, wasn't e it wasn't hard for him, was it? Pretty fucking easy, since he's a rich son of privilege and already is just, like, basically shooed in into the fucking position. And, you know, and then he, what does he do since then? Go around basically self aggrandizement, fucking selfie opportunities and shit. He doesn't give a fuck about you. He got what he wanted. He got voted in. And now he's going to do whatever the fuck he wants to do for his own benefit. Just like all these people do. Can't really blame them in a way. Even they, they, Their fucking actions show that they don't believe all that shit that they're spouting at you. Any more than the fucking priests in the fucking church on Sunday do. They don't fucking buy it either. They're just fucking scamming you. Just like these fucking politicians. Every one of them don't give a fuck. It's not worth voting for anybody. I don't care what's the country you're in. It's a fucking clown show. Every fucking bit of it. The churches and the priests, they're selling afterlife insurance. Believe in all this crap and you'll blah, 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 in heaven, wherever, 72 virgins, whatever the fucking bullshit they promise you. Here on earth, it's the fucking politicians that pull the same scam over and over and over every few fucking years. All you got to do is have a little faith in what they say, and things will get better for you. <laughs> fucking scamming assholes. Bunch of fucking bullshit. Every bit of it. Use your mind. Be logical. Don't put up with that shit. Don't be easily scammed and easily fooled. The political thing? Can't do much about it right now. We don't have access to doing much about changing the world that way. But on a personal level, we can all go, fuck you, that's fucking bullshit, I ain't voting for that garbage. Fuck you, fuck your religion, and fuck your politics too. Yeah, that's right, because I'm being a jerk face. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> the rest of you out there, peace and long night. Yeah.